I'm here at Michael Terra Mushroom Farm in Deerfield, Mass, and checking out how they grow mushrooms indoors. Um, they have a really nice workflow, so I'll just kind of see, walk you through it and talk about uh, mushroom cultivation here. So starting off with raw materials, right? Come, uh, here's a door to outside. Raw materials come right in and they can stockpile their sawdust to keep it freezing. Uh, there's nothing like trying to um, uh, load up frozen sawdust. It's brutal to do in the uh, winter. Um, and from here, the sawdust is loaded into a mixer. So right over here, we've got a four yard uh, pack mixer. Um, so the sawdust is loaded in there. Um, some um, nutrient additions are added. So some people use soybean hulls, some people use uh, wheat bran, some people use grains. Um, that's all mixed and uh, wetted uh, yeah, uh, in this uh, four yard mixer. Um, you can see in here, this is a ribbon mixer. So uh, when you look in here, uh, there's this ribbon and that's gonna uh, turn all the substrate and get a good uh, even mixture. Um, the substrate then drops out and is bagged. So it um, goes onto this line into, into uh, filter patch bags and then fold it up into carts like this one and then brought over into the autoclave. Uh, once in the autoclave, it's sterilized for about two hours or three hours, and then inoculated in the lab, which is on the other side of that, that um, uh, door. Now this is one of their fruiting rooms. Um, and the fruiting rooms are just uh, greenhouses in a larger uh, concrete pad building. Uh, so this is where they're growing fruiting uh, shiitakes and lion's mane. Um, over here we've got some really beautiful racks of lion's mane. Uh, they're starting to grow. And you can see um, the different stages of lion's mane. So at this stage, you can't really see any spines yet. Right, so they're, they're kind of undifferentiated. And as they grow out, they start to get these uh, spines that you can see that are kind of pointing straight out. And once they get ready to harvest, they look more like this, where the spines are cascading down towards the ground and are getting to, you know, maybe half of an inch or so um, in length. Um, all these shelves are on wheels, which is really helpful for cleaning the uh, cleaning the ground. Um, and it looks like they'll have, you know, 200 or so pounds of lions maybe in here. Um, one of the biggest uh, specialty mushrooms sold is shiitakes. So over here we turn to the shiitakes and these are some beautiful looking blocks uh, that are fruiting. Um, you can see really nice pin sets on a lot of these. These ones will be ready to harvest probably tomorrow, maybe the next day. Um, and then these ones you're looking at, you know, maybe three or four days uh, with these, these little pins um, getting ready to, to uh, be able to harvest. Um, you know when they're ready to harvest, um, basically because you know it's starting out this size, little tiny pins, and then getting to the point where this cap and stem have differentiated. And then you'll want to harvest once you can see the gills. So when you can see the gills on the underside, we'll see if we can find any over here. Um, so this is just about the right stage for harvesting, right? So you can see the gills, and there's a nice curl on the uh, outer edge of the mushroom. Um, when the blocks first come in, they look more like this. So these are some, some new, new um, shelves. And basically the blocks are sprayed once or twice a day um, until the mushrooms are into that uh, uh, pinning stage. You know, the pins are about one inch large. So at this stage, we'll stop spraying the blocks and just let the humidity generated in this room um, keep the moisture content high enough for the mushrooms to develop properly. Um, so this is their, their style of growing. It's a um, great farm and they're producing really high quality mushrooms. So um, yeah, check them out online, Michael Terra Mushroom Farm um, in Deerfield, Massachusetts.